Hi folks, Robert Gulf Coast Marine here to talk to you about the Sea Hunt BX25 FS. This boat is packed with all kinds of features at a very good price. Unfortunately, I can't talk about the price because Sea Hunt doesn't like us to talk about those online. But if you give me a call, I'll be more than happy to talk to you more about that. But let's talk about some of the standard features on this boat, number one. Um, this is a 25 foot, three inch boat has a 68 gallon fuel capacity. Um, you've got uh, 12 inch Garmin electronics, a VHF uh, offshore radio, Bluetooth stereo with speakers, misting system built into the um, hard top, um, a live well back here at the, uh, um, at the helm seat, and then another bait well just ahead of the console. This boat is going to come with a 300 horsepower Yamaha, a jack plate. You've got about a 15 inch draft on this boat, which is very respectable for the size of the boat that it is. This is a great boat for, um, for bay fishing as well as getting offshore on select days. Now, this boat's going to come equipped with trim tabs with LED indicators. It's also got this really cool. Uh, Sea Hunt boarding ladder. What I like about this situation here is, of course, it's an easy, easy load. Then you can see that it goes well below the water line. So even these steps here typically are going to be under the waves, which makes it a little easier to get back and forth um, onto the boat. But once it's folded and put away, you've got nothing hanging off the back of this boat to get in your way, um, which is really a great feature. Um, this boat is going to have a head compartment, so you've got a place for a nice little porta potty down there, as well as huge storage. And of course, you can see, um, Bart, up here, you've got a lot of uh, um, rod holders on this boat, the Kingfish rod holders. Sorry, I couldn't, couldn't remember exactly what it was. Now, the BX25 has a full windshield, um, unlike, unlike the BX22. And that includes a vented, um, a, a vented uh, a windshield up at the front as well. Of course, this has got forward seating, so you've got cushions that can be popped in and out of this boat. Um, so when you're just going out for fishing, take those off, leave them at the dock. Um, but the days that you're bringing the family along, this provides a lot of extra seating on, uh, on this 25-foot BX. Um, now, this is going to come with a stainless steel rub rail with your uh, uh, navigation lights built right into the rub rail, which is nice. You don't have to worry about knocking them off if you come into the dock a little bit too hard. You've got spreader light um, on the front of the hard top, and you've also got two spreader lights on the back. So if you're doing a little night fishing, that lights everything up up there, make it easier to see. I'm going to hop on board, Bart, and we'll talk a little bit more about some of the really cool features on this boat. So here we are aboard the BX25FS. I want to talk to you a little bit about the helm. As I mentioned before, this boat's going to come with a uh, VHF, a Garmin VHF offshore radio. It's also going to come with uh, lights, map lights built in, a misting system. This, this boat actually has a 12-gallon freshwater um, tank to supply water to these misters, which if you've ever been out on our waters when it's 112 degrees like it has been the last couple of days, flipping those on can sure help to bring the temperature down, typically about 10 to 15 uh, degrees, which makes a huge difference. Of course, this is going to come with a stainless steel tilt steering wheel. Also includes the, uh, um, the knob to make, make a, uh, a little more positive connection there. 12 inch GPS. All of, your, um, all of your switches are, are rocker panels, which makes it real easy to look down at a glance and determine what's on and what's not. Of course, your Yamaha um, gauges are all in this little unit here, but those also will appear on your Garmin. Over here to the left of the wheel, you can see your um, trim tab uh, controls as well as the indicator lights that let you know where exactly your trim tab tabs are. Um, this is a fly-by-wire, nice and smooth, no clunkety-clunk with, um, with, with the mechanical uh, movement there, shifting gears. 
a nice Bluetooth JL audio system is included on this boat, as well as a pretty cool little cell phone holder there. A padded dash mat is another great place to throw your keys or phone or what have you up on the dash. And again, like we talked about before, you do have this power vent window built into the front windshield to let as much breeze back through here as you, as you need. Um, taking a look at the, at the helm seat at fir itself, you'll see that we do have a nice live well here um, with, a, uh, with a plexiglass so that you can kind of see what's in there before you open up and break that seal. This is fillable with uh, uh, buttons on the dash to fill it up and to, and to drop it off, uh, to empty it out, I should say. Um, here on the side, you've got a nice little, a nice little arrangement for your um, tackle, tackle storage. A couple of nice drawers here, as well as a place for your fillet knives there. Also got a bottle holder, just in case you get thirsty while you're out there fishing. Over here on this side, you've got the same compartment. Again, a place for your fillet knives, a pair of pliers, more. Um, tackle boxes there. This shelf doesn't pull out, but it is uh, nice and big enough for extra reels and that kind of thing. And Bart, if you'll come up here with me, I want to show this, this huge head compartment on this boat. As you can see, looking down in here, there's plenty of room for a nice porta potty. Also, and Bart, if you can kind of look right there, you can see all of your, all of your electronics and wiring and everything are very easy to get to just by removing that curtain really makes it nice, a lot easier than trying to lay on your back when you're trying to replace a gauge or replace a, uh, a fish finder or what have you. So uh, just just really good, easy, easy maintenance on that. Up here in the bow area, again, as I mentioned before, you have another bait tank located here. Got a nice little pull down drawer here with even more tackle storage. And up here is your, is your cushion. Now, these cushions, this is, this is a three-piece um, set. When you take these cushions off, it's going to reveal a nice big insulated fish box here. And then on the port side and the starboard side, you're going to have these lockable rod storage. And again, this is a real easy, uh, real easy system to, to put on and take off. So just depending on what your plans are for that day, Put this back in place. You see how easy that goes in there. You've already got the uh, built-in um, fish measuring stick there, as well as a dedicated anchor locker up here on the bow. As you can see, this is a huge casting area. Yeah, absolutely. And these backrests, while we're talking about the cushions, these backrests simply pop on and off, just push these two buttons right here. But once they're gone, then this gives you a nice big casting area up here. As you can see, uh, Sea Hunt carries the uh, beam of this boat pretty far forward before it starts to taper off. So you really get a nice wide area to work on up here. You, I want to point these out too. You'll notice uh, on Sea Hunt boats, they put these nice deep um, troughs around all of their hatches. So if you do come up on a big wave or something, um, or you get water up over the boat, or you get caught in a rainstorm, which happens, you don't have to worry about the water just pouring right into the hatches. It's actually going to come into these rain gutters and go overboard, and of course, right back down into your bilge compartment. So um, while there's no such thing as a waterproof compartment on any boat, um, that certainly helps to keep uh, the water down inside your compartments. Coming around here, um, you'll notice built into the gunnels of this boat you have more rod storage now these these remain um, folded in when not in use but when you need them you've got you know these two here and then you've got the same thing port and starboard which is a nice feature so if you're again going back to taking the family out on the boat for the day this comes with three pop-up jump seats back here in the stern and when you open these up, of course, you've got your battery here. This just gives you a nice little gear box, a little gear storage there. And then over here, your other battery, as well as some access to um, some of your pumps and things of that nature. 
and when these are down, again, you get a nice full width casting um, deck back here, which makes it pretty nice. Cup holders throughout the boat, as well as more trolling rod holders. Pop-up cleats are standard on this boat. When those are in the down position, reduces your tripping hazards. Here on the uh, uh, port side, they give you a five gallon bucket. That's a great place to put your seine nets and, and that kind of thing to keep them out of the way. Here in the center, you've got another insulated um, fish box and it's lighted as well, which is really nice. And then here on the starboard side, another five gallon bucket. Now, when you take these buckets out, you can see that's going to give you access to all of your um, all of your pumps and filters and that kind of thing. So again, really easy access, easy boat uh, to maintain. Uh, sea, sea Hunt really really did a good job and thought this boat out well. Um, so if you're in the market for a new boat, thinking that a 25 footer is going to fit the bill for you, I encourage you to stop by, see us. Um, and take a, take a closer look at this boat. I think you'll be impressed. The pictures in the film really don't do it justice. One thing I wanted to point out before we go, uh, this also has a raw water wash down as well as a fresh water wash down. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, well, that's it, folks. That's the boat. Um, again, I'm Rob at Gulf Coast Marine. You can reach me on my cell phone at 321-626-3792 or give us a call here at the dealership. Send me an email at rob at gcmboats.com. I'd love to show you this boat and answer any questions you have about it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.